going to start in the laying down meditation this time. So just lay down on your back. You can bend your knees and be on your feet. Place your hands on your belly or by your side. And breathe deeply. Connecting to your body, connecting to your breath. supposed to look. Just feeling my body in each posture, doing the best I can with my alignment and my breath. Coming back to the center, we're going to pull on that right leg, lengthening out, straightening that right leg as much as you can. The left leg will stay in that regular happy baby bent pose, but the right leg will extend out to the side, really strengthening and stretching that hamstring, still trying to keep the lower back and the sacrum on the ground. Pull on your foot, try 
trying to straighten a little bit more on every exhale. Come back to center, switch sides. Lengthen in that left leg, straightening the left leg out. Right leg stays centered and at a regular happy baby. Breathe deeply, keep your whole back on the floor. Use your breath to go deep into that straight left leg. And slowly come back to center. We'll straighten both the legs now. Laying on our back. Breathe deeply, keep the whole back on the floor. The head is neutral. Now straighten the neck. I just straighten out both the legs to the sides. They can stay bent, obviously, if you need to, but try to straighten just a little bit, tapping into your breath. Every exhale going a little bit deeper. From here, we're going to start to rock on our hips and bring us all the way up to a seat. And open the legs out wide again. Coming into a straddle pose here. Get a nice straight long spine. Take a moment to breathe here, just focusing on straightening the spine. Curling from the hips and not from the lower back. Flex in the toes. Make sure your toes are in the same direction as your knees. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, come forward slowly. You can work with a straight back here or just fall down, whatever you feel like doing today. Keep flexing in the toes. Make sure the toes are still in line with the knees. Use your breath, every inhale lengthening in the spine, finding more length here, and every exhale a little bit lower. The body will always make space if you use your breath properly as a tool. Every exhale, your body says you're relaxed. So your muscles release a little bit more, giving more space to enter the posture. More space to go deeper. Slowly walk your hands up. Inhale the hands, come all the way to the sky. Exhale the hands down. We're gonna come into a Baddha Konasana bound angle pose. Both of the feet together. Maybe flutter your wings for a moment. We did a couple deep hip openers. So before we continue, just allowing the energy to flow in your hips. Doing slow, and fast and little flutters. And we'll start to do a little bit bigger flutters now. Bring the knees to your shoulders and back down. Inhale, exhale. See if you can pick up the speed while still bringing the knees all the way up and back down. Activating the inner thighs and thigh muscles. And relax here with the legs. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, come forward. Baddha Konasana. Hold. Again, you can work here from a long straight spine. And just tilting at the hips. Or you can come all the way down. Head to feet. Say hello to your toes. Tell your toes that you love them, that they're the best toes in the whole wide world. <laughs> Thank you. 
And again, use your breath as a tool to go in a little bit deeper on every exhale. Inhale, come up. Hands all the way to the sky. Exhale, bring that left hand to your right knee, coming into a seated twist. That right hand comes behind your back, maybe grabbing your left thigh. Look behind you as far as you can. The twist starts from your neck. Breathe deeply. See if you can lengthen in the spine a little bit more. Open the chest through your arm a little bit more. Maybe you can swing that arm around a little bit more in your, to your inner thigh. Inhale back to center. Long spines create space between every vertebrae. Exhale, other side, right hand to left knee. Left hand comes all the way in the back, trying to grab your inner right thigh. Breathe deeply. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bring your hands together and intertwine your fingers and bring them close to your ears. Really hugging your head here, the head is neutral. Inhale, lengthen in the spine without spilling forward with your stomach. We still wanna activate our core and hug our ribs towards the center. And exhale, turn to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, turn to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, we're gonna side bend to the right. Look up towards the left side. Take a couple deep breaths here. Really opening up that left shoulder and the left side of your upper body. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Look up towards the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, drop the hands. Gonna do a couple head circles here. Releasing any stress and tension from the neck. And to the opposite direction. Here we'll come up onto our feet and enter our sun salutations. Big toe to big toe. Inhale the hands up. Look towards your fingertips. Make sure you're not locking your knees. A little micro bend to make sure the weight of your body stays in the center. Exhale to the floor, forward fold, head to knees. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, drop the hands, walk back to plank. Hold for a moment, inhale, lengthen here, pushing off of your hands, holding this plank for one moment. And exhale, come down into your chaturanga. Keep the elbows close to the body. Inhale, choose to come into an up dog or cobra. Look up, push the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, come into your downward dog. First downward dog of the day, so shake it out, shake your tail, wag your tail all around the sky. I like to come into some down dog twists, so I'll turn my knees to the left and almost sit on my heels. Inhale back up, exhale twist to the other side, knees to the right, sit on your heels. Inhale as you rise, exhale as you twist. Inhale back to center, look forward, walk all the way, big toe to big toe. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, exhale. 
exhale, Samasthiti rest. Beautiful. We'll do one more of these. Inhale up. Exhale down. Neck to knees. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift. Drop the hands. Walk back to your plank. Hold your plank for one moment. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, push off of your hands. Exhale, lean forward, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Taking a couple deep breaths here. Feel free to hold it or move around. Look forward. Walk all the way. Big toe to big toe. Inhale, halfway lift. Look forward, long spine. Exhale, head to knee. Inhale, rise. Exhale, rest. Samasthiti. Beautiful. We're going to go into one round of Sun B with some fun variations. We're going to inhale, come into our chair pose. Bending the knees, lifting the arms up, making sure that our hips are reaching backwards and not just squatting down. We want to see our toes still. Lengthen in the arms, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center and twist towards the right. Inhale, back to center, regular chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center, twist towards the left. Inhale, back to center, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward, straight spine. Drop the hands, hold your breath. Walk back to plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Taking a moment here in our down dog, we're gonna bring our left hand towards our right leg, coming into a twisted down dog. Still push your weight off of your hands to your feet. Come back to center, switch legs. Twist towards the left leg, right hand to left leg. Come back to center, inhale, lift that right leg up. Exhale, bring it in between your hands. Ground your back foot, preparing you for warrior one. Inhale, the hands up. Beautiful, make sure your hips are tilted forward, protecting the lower back, the knees still over the ankle. Inhale, lengthen in your arms. Exhale, twist towards the right. Hands will come out to shoulder height. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist towards the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to center. Exhale, hands down to the ground, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Again, we're going to twist towards our legs, bringing our left hand to our right leg. Downward dog with one hand. Adding a little twist here. Try to look beyond your right armpit. Back to center. Regular downward dog. And switch sides. Right leg, hand to left leg. Pulling yourself through, looking beyond your left armpit. Look forward, preparing yourself to lift that left leg and bring it in between the hands. Preparing for warrior one, drop that right leg down, strong base. Inhale, the hands up. Again, making sure that you're tilting the hips forward, protecting the lower back and your knees above your ankle, not beyond it. Inhale, lift a bit higher in the arms, long spine. 
Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Last time. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, bring the hands to the ground. Chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Walk forward. Big toe to big toe. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise into your chair pose. Bending the knees. Look up towards your fingers. Exhale, rest. Beautiful. Take a moment here in your samastiti to close your eyes. You can bring your hands to your hips by your hips. Coming back to your body. Coming back to your breath. Coming back to the intention you made at the beginning of our practice. Here we're gonna inhale the right leg up. Exhale, grab that big toe. If you want, challenge here, you can inhale, straighten the leg. If not, stay with the uh, fingers holding the big toe with the knee in the direction up. Left hand is on the hip, keeping us stable. Inhale, lengthen in the leg. Exhale, hold. Inhale, open the right leg to the right now. Exhale, hold. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, let go of the big toe, bringing the knee back to chest. Inhale, lift that knee a little bit higher. Exhale, reach with the right leg all the way back. Coming into warrior two legs. The left leg is pointing forward, right leg is pointing outwards. Inhale, the hands come up to shoulder height. Exhale, we're gonna come down into side angle pose. Extended side angle pose. Inhale, the hands come overhead in line with, with the left hand on the floor. Breathe deeply here. Inhale, rise up with your hands. Coming into reverse warrior, bringing that right hand to your right leg. Left hand comes overhead for a nice deep side bend. Make sure you're not putting any pressure here on the knee. You can lean on the shin or the thigh or hand on the hip. Reaching all the way forward, bring that right hand to the ground, coming to a twisted side angle now. Left hand towards the sky. Look up towards your left hand. Bring that left hand down, left foot back, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna bring that left leg all the way forward. And inhale into our warrior two. The same legs we started with on the at the beginning of our uh, cycle. Left leg is pointed forward. Right leg is backwards and pointing outwards. Warrior two for a moment here, gathering your strength and power. Make sure that your spine is in line with your body and you're not leaning too far forward. You wanna keep the spine nice and straight. Just the head is looking towards the left. On your next inhale, you're gonna turn with the whole body towards the left and bring that right knee to chest. Just like we did on the other side, right knee to chest. Exhale, we're gonna straighten the leg and grab it with our left hand now, coming into a twisted utita. 
twisted hand to big toe pose. You can stay looking forward or you can choose to look towards your right hand. Breathe deeply here. Look back forward, bend in both of the knees and start to squat down towards the ground until your hand gets to the ground, still holding the leg. Nice. Straighten that leg even more for a moment. Inhale. Exhale, sit down. And bring that left knee outwards on the ground. Slowly drop the right leg. Keep holding the foot. Inhale, lengthen. Bring both hands to your feet. Exhale, we're going to come forward into a Janus Sirsasana head to knee pose. Take a couple deep breaths here. Inhale, look forward, straight back. Exhale, we're going to come under our left arm, coming into a twisted side, a twisted head to knee posture. Trying to hold the foot with your left hand. Right hand can be on the ground, on the inside of your right leg. Breathe deeply. I love this pose. I hope you're enjoying it as well. Here comes the challenging part, our peak pose. Bring your right hand next to your right hip. Keep hold of that left leg. Okay? As we inhale, we're going to start to lift up the right leg, still holding it with our left hand. Exhale for a moment. Inhale again, trying to look under your left arm like we just did in Janu Sirsasana in our twisted head to knee pose. This is compass pose. I'm so proud of you if you made it to this posture. You can also do it with the bent leg and just trying. That's enough as well. One more deep breath here. Admiring this beautiful deep stretch in our compass pose. And exhale, come back to the ground. Head to knee. Inhale, look forward, straight back. Exhale, cross your legs, jump through, vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Look forward, walk, big toe to big toe. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, rest. Beautiful. Let's go on to the other side. We're gonna ground in that left, in that uh, right leg. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, left knee to chest, hands to heart center. Grabbing the big toe with your left hand. You can stay here or you can choose to extend forward with the leg straight. Your right hand is on your hip. Deep breath here, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, switch, bring your left leg towards the left side. Opening your extended hand to big toe pose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring the leg back forward. Inhale, let go of the hand, bring the knee to chest. Exhale, hand to hip. Inhale, bring the knee a little bit more to your chest. Exhale, bring that leg all the way back. Coming into warrior two legs. Right now we're doing the opposite of what we did on the other side. Right leg is facing forward, knee above ankle. Left leg is pointing outwards. Inhale the hands, shoulder height. Exhale, bring that right hand down to the ground on the outside of your right foot, coming into side angle. Left hand is up in line with your right hand. 
Look up towards your left hand. Deep breaths here, opening the chest towards the sky. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, coming into your reverse warrior, bringing that left leg, left hand down onto your left leg. Anywhere except for the knee. Right hand comes overhead. Look towards your right hand. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, coming to the ground into a twisted side angle, bringing that left hand either to the inside of your foot for a little bit more balance or to the outside of your foot for a little bit more challenge. Right hand comes up, look up towards your right hand. Bringing both hands down to the ground. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And now we're gonna bring that right leg forward. Inhale up into your warrior two. Holding this warrior two for a moment, make sure your stomach is engaged. You're not bending too much in the back. Really tucking in your ribs and your stomach like we talk about, activating your whole center, making sure the spine is in line with the head and the hips. You're not leaning too much forward. Only the head is looking towards the right. Relaxing the shoulders. Also make sure that your right knee is not leaning too much inwards, that it's still right above the ankle and facing forward. Beautiful. Channeling your warrior energy before we continue. Inhale, deeply lengthen. Exhale, turn towards the front slowly, bringing your weight towards your right leg. Lifting up that left leg now, meeting your right hand to come into twisted udita. Twisted extended hand to big toe pose. You can stay looking forward or for an extra challenge, start to look backwards towards your left hand. Deep breath. Beautiful, look forward. Bend in both the legs and slowly start to squat your way down towards the ground until your hand gets to the ground. Before you sit, extending the leg a little bit more, extending in the back, long spine, inhale. Exhale, sit, open that right knee towards the side and slowly land your left leg. Bringing both hands to your feet, inhale, long spine. Exhale, forward fold, Janna Sirsasana for a moment here. Beautiful. 
Look beyond your right arm and up. Compass pose. And slowly bring the left leg down. Head to knee for a moment. Inhale, look forward. Cross the legs, jump through, vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a moment here in your down dog to feel this length in your spine. Weight towards your feet. Externally rotating those shoulders. Look forward. Walk, big toe to big toe. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, rest. Samastiti, so proud of you. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, all the way down to the ground to enter our cool down poses. I'm gonna sit on the ground now, laying down all the way. Knees up in the air, feet on the ground, hands by your hip. We're gonna come into a mini bridge here. Make sure your feet are forward and legs are parallel. Inhale, press into your hands, into your feet, lifting your hips up without squeezing the glutes here. All the power should come from your front body and pressing into the feet, not squeezing the glutes. If you need to rise a little bit and then unsqueeze, rise and unsqueeze, that's a nice method. Deeply and slowly lower down. We're gonna come into a shoulder stand now as a, our last posture and inversion. Inhale, the feet up, coming into your shoulder stand, hands at the lower back. Don't move the head as there's a lot of pressure on the neck here. Just keep try straightening the legs forward toward the sky. Not overhead. Squeezing the legs together. Everything is activated here. And slowly lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. Using your core strength. Coming back to 90 degrees in the legs. Bend the knees toward the chest. Give yourself a big hug for completing this fun and challenging practice. Head to knee. Complete flexion, complete compression, hugging the whole body. And slowly lower yourself down, coming into your Shavasana. Feel free to choose any Shavasana that suits you, maybe with legs on the ground, open wide. Maybe with your feet on the ground and bending the knees in towards each other if you have any lower back pain. Maybe laying on your side. I'm gonna use this nice and yummy lavender pillow on my eyes. If you have any weighted pillows or small pillows you can put on your eyes, that might be nice as well. Or any essential oils. All is welcome in the Shavasana time. So once you chose your variation and extra fun stuff, just lay down and breathe through the nose. Full inhales and complete exhales. Giving the body the proper time to heal. Completely present.
a couple more deep breaths, feeling the whole body like a balloon. And emptying it out completely, sinking into the ground. Shavasana for as long as you'd like, or you can meet me in a comfortable seat, whatever comfortable seat you prefer, just feeling the movement without opening your eyes. Returning to your normal breath, reminding yourself of the intention you set at the beginning of the practice. Observing if you actually focused on your own intention and if you followed whatever you wanted to do or focus on. And if you did, did it help your practice? Did you feel like you got a little bit more out of it than when you and normally practice without an intention? Bring our hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Namaste. Bye. <laughs>